Hey, how you doing guys? We got a brand new uh, soundboard software from for the Mac uh, called Fergo and uh, we're going to bring up the uh, website real quick which is from Rogue Amoeba and uh, this only came out a couple of days ago and we've been uh, playing around with it seeing how we like it. Now I have used a soundboard application on the Mac before which I've had for many years uh, which is Ambrosia software so you may see me referring to that a little bit or comparing it. Now this is great if you have a internet radio, live video broadcast or television show or whatever. Um, this is great for things like intros, outros, sound effects and so on. Um, so it's a great way to arrange and play your audio clips. Um, so we're going to take a look at the interface now. You actually have two basic tabs on either side for setting up your audio. And the one on the left is primarily um, once you fill out all your first set or grid. And then you, you can also uh, use this to separate. You can make another sound set if you have like different shows with different audio clips. And then you can do that. And um, as, for, as far as importing it into the application, you just uh, drag and drop, <laughs> or you can use the add sound and use your browser to import it that way. Now it actually copies the audio to the application, so if for some reason you move your, uh, your source audio files, it won't affect um, Fergo, it'll still have it imported into its own folder. So uh, that's great to see. Uh, you won't lose your audio clips uh, inadvertently. And you can also arrange it different rate ways. And here um, is grid mode. And you can actually move it around anywhere you want. Uh, drag and drop style. Um, they also have a list mode. And which is great if you do everything in order uh, as far as the show goes for like commercials and what uh, what have you. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem you, uh, doesn't seem to be able to drag and drop it around. So you may have to go into grid mode, arrange it first, and then go into your list mode. Um, uh, hopefully, they'll add a feature to allow you to arrange it in that part. And um, now playing the audio clips was a little bit confusing. Um, and normally you, to play an audio clip you have to um, I had to actually go in there and double click it to uh, get it to play which to me is a little bit awkward it, for it sh uh, to me it needs to have the a single click to play it makes it much more intuitive faster uh, if you're running a uh, running gun um, internet show and now you can use things uh, like the space bar and the return key and uh, we're just clicking it here to show you but it, in doing so it sometimes inadvertently um, accidentally trigger one or another audio files uh, as you can see I could be running one or the other and it would actually trigger the other audio file um, to me uh, it, it needs to be better implemented I believe or things like that. Now the single click to play feature uh, is in your preference preferences and there's a little checkbox single click to trigger sounds which I initially missed when I uh, was working with it and then I went into preferences and found it. And from here you can also um, decide where which audio you're going to route it to um, as well. And um, like I said, I'm glad, I'm glad to see the single click to play feature makes it much more faster when you're running an audio show. You can click several intro, outros, and, and so forth. Um, now you also have your audio inspector for each audio clip. From here you can set your in and out points, uh, which is great if you have a particularly long audio clip and then you need to uh, shorten it down without having to do some audio editing and then uh, you can test it as well and down here you can set your volume control now it has two volume controls which is a little confusing um, 
one set at 100 and then the other one maybe down to 40%. I don't know if they're utilizing some kind of ducting where if you're playing an audio clip and you duck it down low enough so people can hear your voice. I'm not sure, I might have missed that feature. Um, but from here you can set the audio level for each clip. Um, fade in and out, which is I think a great feature, especially if you're using a cross fades of two different audio clips at the same time and you can fade uh, fade out of one and fade into another it makes it much more um, professional sounding here you can also change the color of each audio clip which is great if you, you, you want to separate it in accordance with maybe advertising audio for your advertisers um, intros and outros uh, or even sound effects you can make each one a different color and then you got a couple of selections down here such as loop solo and so forth um, it's not a bad little um, application um, now I typically prefer soundboard from uh, Ambrosia software uh, it's uh, much more mature and it has uh, a lot of added in features such as um, if you have um, like uh, AU audio plugins from uh, that you can download separately gives you things like compressors and reverb for each clip you can um, add it as a plugin and you can adjust the audio clips that way for your different sound effects and things like that I think it's arranged a little bit more to my liking it might be just preference and but you can buy both for about $49 and go check out my review demo of Soundboard as well as the iPad app. You can use it as a remote uh, as well for your show. And then um, Fairgo for early adopters, you, I believe you can get it for a discount, but full price is $49. And sooner or later, they're actually going to probably stop doing the discount. So it's great to see other options uh, and also get. Uh, more a little bit more competition um, better features and better price um, so thanks for uh, watching the demo and I hope to see you guys uh, later on